recording? Probably. Hello, Ape Dogs. Um, this is Dominic here. I'm going to show you my tablet since I've been talking about doing this for forever. I got a ZBrush open here right now. Let's see if I can. Uh, Photoshop. Okay. Um, anyways, so this is a uh, Fujitsu ThinkPad, not ThinkPad, Lifebook. It's like a T5010. Uh, um, it's got all the Wacom drivers for the tablet on screen. Um, I can put it in tablet mode if I need to, which is really cool. And it'll go left or right. And screen always usually resets to being in portrait mode whenever I do that. So it's got these buttons down here to switch. And these are actually all programmable. Um, problem I have with it is they're... Uh, con constant, um, so whatever I program for will work in every program, so like in Photoshop, if I need to undo or anything like that, I can program one of these for Control-Alt-Z, which actually I think I have done, so if I just, you know, scribble and then come over here and hit one of the function buttons, it'll undo it. Problem is that it'll do Control-Alt-Z in every program, which isn't useful in a lot of other stuff. But, and that's basically my main problem with the tablet has been, has been working uh, with keyboard shortcuts and trying to find a way to use them. And I just wanted to show you guys here a little bit of the sensitivity. And let's see if we can go from light to dark, kind of get a decent idea. And I'm at um, image canvas size. I'm working at... Uh, 12 by 8 at 300 dpi so you know considering personally I think the responsiveness is pretty quick doesn't um, lag too much there's not a whole lot of lag here on the, on the brush itself when drawing everything's pretty quick to boot I'm just kind of dorking around here to kind of give you an idea of the weird floaty head guy with big spiky hair. Um, so, but anyways, that's about how the, the brushes handle. But as you can see, like, you know, a lot of my issues always come with, you know, if I need the eraser, you've got to kind of retrain yourself to go over here and do all that. And I'm sure it's probably about the same with, a, like, a Cintiq. But um, with the Cintiq, I know you at least have the keyboard within reach. Here, what you've got in tablet mode or just whenever you're using the tablet, it seems to have disappeared on me here. Um, that's probably because um, ZBrush is freaking it out. So we'll go to ZBrush really quickly, and I'll get back to what I was just going to say. And um, ZBrush works pretty well on this, too. I'm, I've got about 3 gigs of RAM and a dual-core 2.8 gigahertz processor. Um, but it's a really crappy video card. So here we're in ZBrush, and I actually don't know that much about the program. I'm kind of still learning. But the responsiveness is pretty great. So I don't know. Just messing around. But here's where, again, the whole keyboard issue comes in. If I want to um, push in any of this, I would have to hold down, uh, I think, Alt. But right now, I don't have access to the keyboard. <laughs> Therefore, I can't hold down Alt. So, um, one of the issues I was trying to, that's one of the issues I've been dealing with this for a while. So, and I actually just kind of recently found a solution, but it's through my iPhone, which is what I'm using to record this with. So, <laughs> um, I've got a keyboard on there now that I can map to this computer, and then I can just keep the iPhone on hand and mess around with it that way and do my alt or undos or eyes for eyedropper or whatever. But, you know, basically everything in ZBrush works relatively quickly. You know, I haven't really gotten into using really advanced or high-res models, but it seems to, I don't see a lot of slowdown on, personally. So, that's my opinion about that so far. And I'm not going to save that. So, still not getting my side keyboard. Maybe it doesn't like that we're... But anyways, that is my tablet PC, and I wanted to show you battery life down here. I've got four hours and 42 minutes, and that'll fluctuate a lot, and um, when I purchased it, one of the things I made sure to do was, um, 
it's got a, a standard battery right there, but I've also got this CD bay extra backup battery that well, it can't pop out right now because I'm using my hands to hold the camera. But this whole, this is where the CD bay would be, and uh, I take the CD drive out and can slide a little backup battery. And I can do that on the fly. I can do it right now while it's running, and it won't. There we go. So if I pop that out. This is the battery that goes in there, and normally you just slide the CD-ROM drive in there if you wanted to. And now I'm sure my battery life is a little bit dead, more so. Now it's just saying 95%, it's going to have to recalculate how much actual live time I've got left for using it. But anyways, um, if you guys have any more questions, um, I can make another little quick video or I'll answer them online. Um, and that's about it. It's a 3.1 inch screen. Um, I calibrate it fairly often for the most part. It, you know, I have a, it doesn't really take a lot of getting used to. I mean, if you've worked with a tablet or with a Wacom, you're probably all good. Um, I did mention uh, in the forums that for the more complicated brushes and the sizes, they do get a little more slow and bogged down. And I'm totally filming the wall over there. That's nice. Just so you know, that's yeah, that's a bookshelf right there. That's where we keep books and stuff. <laughs> so, you know, um, personally, yeah, I think it handles really nicely. But that's just me. Bye.